Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. Why can't Chinese chip manufacturers accept the new generation of UUV lithography technology? At first glance, this may seem counterintuitive. After all, the stagnation of cutting-edge technology means that the development of global chip manufacturing processes has reached a bottleneck. However, China's semiconductor industry is catching up. This is an excellent opportunity for a turnaround. EUV, EUV, lithography, EUV, also known as photolithography, EUV, is a key equipment for manufacturing cutting-edge semiconductor chips. Metaphorically speaking, this machine is like a chef that can accurately label a complex circuit diagram which determines its performance and yield. For a long time, the development and manufacturing of EUV lithography machines have been basically in the hands of a very few companies, such as ASML in the Netherlands. It is like a chef cooking a dish, but he can only eat the leftovers on other people's plates. For China's chip manufacturing, such a monopoly is a huge challenge. China does not yet have advanced lithography technology, so China is much worse than others in manufacturing wafers. It's like using a kitchen knife to cut a big bone. It's better to use a chainsaw to cut it cleanly. Therefore, Chinese chip manufacturers can only catch up in terms of process and equipment, but they always feel that they are trapped. Wafer manufacturing processes have moved from miniaturization to nanometers. Early micron wafer manufacturing was like using a thick pencil to draw on a piece of white paper. Although the lines were thick, the outline could be roughly seen. With the development of technology, chip manufacturing has entered the nanometer era. It is like using an extremely fine brush to draw a very small picture on rice paper, but the strokes are so small. However, this path to miniaturization has not been smooth sailing. The human body is like a narrow tunnel. No matter how hard you try, you will eventually hit the wall. EUV, EUV, lithography, EUV, is a new process. However, due to process difficulty and cost constraints, this process still cannot reach the final process level. In other words, there is no way forward. Therefore, it is a gratifying thing that extreme ultraviolet, EUV, Lithography replaces the new generation of lithography. Why? That means everyone agrees. In the past, China struggled to catch up, but was always one step behind. Now, everyone is standing on the same starting line, and it depends on who can be faster and more stable. This is a great opportunity for chip manufacturing in China. In the past, China relied on relatively backward technology and equipment to catch up. It was like a man running, looking at the group of people in front of him, breathing heavily, trying to keep up, but he was always so far away. Now that everyone has stopped, China has time to breathe, re-strategize, and make full use of the technology it already has. In fact, China's chip manufacturing companies have already made certain achievements in this field. For example, SMIC has been able to independently develop high-quality chips without using ultraviolet lithography. It's like a warrior without a master, relying on his own efforts, finally embarked on the road of martial arts. These cases are not isolated, they are a generalization. 
China's chip manufacturers are gradually shortening the distance from the world's leading level through technological innovation, process optimization, and other means. For example, Huawei braved the US technology blockade and released a powerful Kirin chip, which shows that Chinese technology companies are highly adaptable and creative. Chinese semiconductor manufacturers do not yet have a new generation of extreme ultraviolet lithography technology, so they can improve the existing process through continuous innovation and optimization. Rather than struggling to catch up, it's better to focus on improving on what you already have. It's like a long-distance race. Everyone has finished, and now it's time to show off their abilities. Some experts even believe that China will make more breakthroughs in this area. For example, optimizing the existing lithography process, or developing new materials and processes to improve the performance and performance of the chip. This series of technological innovations can not only enhance China's competitiveness in the field of integrated circuits, but also provide a new direction of thinking for integrated circuit manufacturing worldwide. In addition, the Chinese government has given strong support to the development of the semiconductor industry. On this basis, policy and financial support will be provided to promote the growth of local chip companies. This is a kind of competition between countries, with the government pushing the flames behind and businesses struggling in front, creating a powerful synergy. In general, a new generation of UUV lithography technology has not yet emerged, which is a golden opportunity for China's chip manufacturing. By improving existing processes, China has gradually shortened the distance from the world's advanced level in some aspects and made leaps in some aspects. This is like a relay race. When China takes over the first banner, the next step is to sprint. Due to the lack of new generation ultraviolet lithography technology, the wafer manufacturing process has come to an end. This is a great opportunity for chip manufacturing in China. China can continuously innovate existing technologies and bring spring to the chip industry.